Hi guys, today I wanted to do a quick swatch video of the some shadows from MorpheBrushes.com. It's M-O-R-P-H-E. I wasn't sure if it was pronounced Morph or Morphe, but I heard about these from Crispy here on YouTube and she says that they're Morphe, so I'm gonna go with that. Um Anyways, like I said, I heard about them from Crispy. I, she's used them in tons of her videos, and um, they're very reasonably priced. They're only $2 a piece, and so I thought I would give some, I would order some and give them a try. So I have 10 colors for you. Most of them are neutral and matte. And they don't have names, they have numbers. So what I'll do is um, swatch them for you and then give you their description of the shadows and what type of finish it is. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first one I have here is number 13. It is this color there, just a light brown. And their description of this color is a soft gold peach with pearl, and it is a satin finish. This is number 61. It's that color there. Sort of your basic, like a medium brown. And these are super creamy, guys. They're not chalky or anything. They're very, very creamy, very pigmented, and they go on very smooth, and they blend very well. I'm actually wearing, let's see, every color I'm wearing on my eyes right now, except for the white, is a um, shadow from Morphe, so they're very pigmented. This is number 15. Oh, sorry, the last one was 61. Their description of that is a light golden brown, and it is a matte, so it's that color there. Okay, this one is number 15. It's sort of a more reddish brown or orangey brown. So, number 15, their description is golden orange brown, and it's also a matte. Okay, this is number 16. This is a brown, it's kind of a purpley undertone. It's that color there. And, let's see. Their description of this is a soft muted rosy brown and it is a satin finish. This is number 63. This is just sort of a chocolate brown. So 63, it says muted gold and it's a matte shade. And this is number 14. the color I used as a transition shade today. This is that color there. And it is a, it, their description is vivid orange. It's also a matte shade. This is number 50. I'm sorry, 05. So 05. It's very creamy. That color there. And this is apricot orange. It says it's a matte shade. It's clearly not matte. I would say it's more of a satin. This is number 11. This one is super creamy. I can't wait to try this one out. I, just, I barely put my finger in this and check that out. So number 11, this is orange copper and it says it's a Velux pearl finish. Beautiful, just kind of a cranberry copper. And this is the coral that I have on my lid right now. I will link the tutorial for this below. This one is a little bit chalkier. 
And the others, it's definitely a matte. This color there. I'm sorry I didn't show it to you. So this is number 21. It's that color right there on the bottom. Number 21. Their description is pinky coral and it is a matte shade. Beautiful coral, just bright, bright like neon. And then the last color that I got is number 37. It's that color there. Their description is Boston Green. This is also a matte shade. And that's the color that I have on my um, lower lash line. Like I said, these are super creamy, super blendable. Um, the only one that I found a little bit chalkier was the coral, but as you can see from my eyes, it's very pigmented, uh, very easy to blend. So I would definitely recommend giving these a try. Like I said, they are $2 a piece. You can buy them in singles or they also have palettes like 28 neutral palettes and a few other ones. I believe they have eyeliners and gel eyeliners and tons and tons of brushes um, so definitely give them a try their um, website is m-o-r-p-h-e brushes.com and if you have tried these or if you do try these leave a comment below and tell me how you like them and um, or if you don't like them why you don't like them so yeah that was my review and sort of a first impression. Um, as you can tell, I haven't used any, any of these colors besides the ones I have on my eyes. So um, I will let you know in the description box whether they are long wearing or they rubbed off or anything like that. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.